Hello students, welcome to SS Tutorial. Today in this video, we will discuss about the physiographic division of Northern Plain of India. Here in this video, we will divide Northern Plain of India on the basis of relief features. So let's begin. On the basis of relief features, the Northern Plain of India is divided into three parts. They are Bhabar, Torai and Alluvial Plain. Let's know them one by one. At first, we will know about Bhabar. Bhabar is a narrow belt which is about 8 to 16 km wide, lying parallel to the slopes of the Siwa Lake, from Jammu to Asham, at the confluence of Himalaya and Indo-Gangetic Plain. It is gently sloping towards alluvial zone. This belt is formed as a result of the deposition of pebbles by the river, which are descending from the Himalaya in the north. At the foothills of the Siwa Lake, slope of the terrain changes dramatically, and for that, Carrying capacity of the rivers decreases certainly. As a result, mostly large size sediments like gravel, pebbles are deposited by the rivers at the foothill of the Siwa Lake and forms alluvial fan. With the merger of these alluvial fans, Bhabar region developed. This region is comparatively wide in the west and narrow in the east. It has great porosity as it is made of pebbles. That's why most of the stream sinks in this region and disappear here and runs underground. So river courses remains dry throughout the year in this region except rainy season. All these streams which are disappears in the Bhabar region are appears in the Tarai region which is made of comparatively fine grain deposits like sand, silt and clay. In the Bhabar region, topsoil replenishment occurs in every monsoon. That's why this area is also a fertile place. As this region remains dry throughout the year except monsoon and full of pebbles, very less agriculture is practiced here. Underground water level is very deep in this region. That's why only long-rooted giant trees grow here. Now you will know about Torai. Torai is a gently sloping, wet, swampy and marshy plain region located parallel to the south of Bhabar Belt in the countries of India and Nepal. In India, Torai region is extended over the Union territories of Haryana and the states of Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal, which stretches roughly between the Yamuna River in the west and the Brahmaputra River in the east. Several numbers of perennial and seasonal river descending from the Himalaya in the north. At the foothills of the Siwa Lake, slope of the terrain changes dramatically and for that, speed as well as carrying capacity of the rivers decreases certainly. As a result, river deposits its load and forms alluvial fan at the foothills of the Siwa Lake. With the merger of this alluvial fan, a gently sloping plain land develops. Lower part of this plain land or alluvial fan, which is made of mainly fine-sized alluvium like silt, sand, clay is known as Torai. As many rivers and streams are flowing over this region, this region becomes marshy and swampy types. Torai region is about 10 to 20 km wide and elevated 67 to 300 meter from the mean sea level. It is wider in the eastern part, particularly in the Bombaputra Valley, due to frequent rainfall. Eastern part of Torai region in West Bengal is known as Duars, meaning doors, which is demarcated by the river Tista. It is the gateway between the hills in Bhutan and the plains in India. There are almost 18 gateway. Rivers, which flows underground in the Bhabar region, reappears in the Torai region. This region is not suitable for health as this region receives a high rainfall and malaria is very common here. That's why before 1960s, only Tharu and Dhimal indigenous people were living here as they have innate resistance to malaria. But after the malaria eradication program using DDT in the 1960s, a large number of people settled here. Tora is characterized by tall grassland savanna, dense forest and rich wildlife. But this dense forest is now decreasing every year as it is now cleaning for agriculture and inhabitant purpose, especially in Punjab, Haryana, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh. Several protected areas were established in this region. Most popular are Jim Corbett National Park, Valmiki National Park, Kajiranga National Park and so on. The region is very much fertile as the region is rich in humus and organic matter. And also every year in monsoon, new fertile alluvium deposit here. That's why this region becomes one of the most important agricultural center of the country. The region is suitable for the cultivation of tea, wheat, rice, maize, sugarcane and so on. Let's know about alluvial plain. 
एलोभियल प्लें लाइज इन दाउथ अब तरई बेल्ट एक्सेट भावर बेल्ट एंड तरई बेल्ट होल नर्दार्न प्लें अब इंडिया इज कवार्ड बलोभियल प्लें एलोभियल प्लें फर्म्स डि टू द डिपोजिशन अब एलोभियम हुईच इज कैरिड बै द रिभार एंड डिपोजिट इन टू द फ्लाट प्लें रिभार एंड आईलैंड एंड इन द डेल्टा रिजियन अब द रिभार ब्रह्मपुत्र प्लें इज नोन फर लार्जेस्ट रिभार एंड आईलैंड अब एशिया दैट इज माजुली इट इज अलोभियल प्लें एंड अल्सो द लार्जेस्ट डेल्टा अब द वर्ल्ड सुंदरबन डेल्टा इज फर्मड इन द एलोभियल प्लें बै द डिपोजिशन अब गंगा एंड ब्रह्मपुत्र रिभार एलोभियल प्लें इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्टस वन इज भांगर एंड अदार इज खदार खदार इज निव एलोभियल सएल एंड भांगर इज ओल्ड एलोभियल सएल बोथ सएल्स आर रिच इन इम्पिओर कैलसियम कार्बोनेट लेट्स नो देम वन बै वन लेट्स नो अबाउट भांगर सएल ओल्ड एलोभियल सएल और भांगर इज रिलेटिवलि आबलैंड एरिया लाइंग एब द फ्लाड लेवल एवे फ्रम द रिभार सो इट इज लेस फ्लाड फ्रन एरिया बिकज अब दिस इट इज नट एनरिच एवरी इयर एज इट इज नट रिन्यूड इट इज लेस फार्टाइल सो लेस एग्रिकलचार इज डान हेयर भांगर सएल हेज क्वार्सर इन टेक्सचार एज कांकर इज प्रेजेंट हेयर इट इज क्ले इन नेचार एंड डार्क इन कलर लेट्स नो अबाउट खदार सएल यांग एलोभियल सएल और खदार इज रिलेटिवलि लो लाइंग एरिया और लाइज बिलो द फ्लाड लेवल और नेक्स्ट टू द रिभार दैट्स वाई दिस इज मोस्ट फ्लाड फ्रन एरिया अलमोस्ट एवरी इयर फ्लाड अकार्स इन दिस लो लाइंग एरिया बिकज अब दिस इट इज रिन्यूड अलमोस्ट एवरी इयर एज इट इज एनरिच एवरी इयर दिस टाइप अफ सएल इज मोर फार्टाइल एंड एग्रिकलचार इज माच मोर सुइटेबल फर दिस टाइप अफ सएल सो इंटेंसिव एग्रिकलचरल प्रैक्टिस इज डान हेयर इट इज मेड अफ फाइन ग्रेन एलोभियम इट इज सैंडी इन नेचार एंड लाइट इन कलर इन पाजाब इट इज नोन एज बेट एलोभियल सएल इज माच मोर फार्टाइल एज इट इज रिच इन ह्यूमास एंड अर्गैनिक मैटर अल्सो रिच इन पटास इट हेज गुड व्टार रिटेंशन एंड व्टार एबजर्विंग कैपासिटी दैट्स वाई नर्दार्न प्लें अब इंडिया बिकम्स एग्रिकलचरल हाब अब द कान्ट्री दैट्स अल फर टूडे होप यू लाइक दिस भिडियो If you like this video then please like and share for more such videos please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest notification thanks for watching